the opioid crisis uh, still continues to rage. This year we had a historical seizure, casework done by our investigators on uh, a, a, a very organized group that uh, were trafficking heroin and fentanyl in our community and uh, took a million, over a million dollars worth of heroin from them, six million dollars worth of fentanyl. And people are really not familiar with fentanyl at this point, but uh, a, a milligram is 30 times stronger than a gram of heroin. So it's cheaper, smaller to carry, and, and that's why you're seeing so many overdoses. We had 150 plus overdoses in 2017 with 25, 26 deaths. And uh, you know, we had a slight decrease after this huge uh, drug bust that our folks did. But again, it's not even the end of the year. We still have December, to, rest of December to go through, and we've had as many overdoses this year and as many deaths. So it's it's like plugging a hole, and and you get two leaks elsewhere. And this, this is a national issue. It's a national issue, but Florida certainly, uh, Okaloosa County, uh, tied with West Palm Beach County and or Palm Beach County in uh, the number of heroin overdoses. Why is that? Do you think? I don't know if it's location. Um, you know, we are the second most visited county in the state of Florida behind Orange County and Disney World. Uh, we're the first beaches you come to from elsewhere in the country, uh, especially in the southeast if you're driving from, you know, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Uh, we are the first beaches you come to, so we're, we're certainly uh, blessed with our tourists. Uh, but they come they come with issues as well and, and efforts to overcome that i mean they're just ongoing it's a daily it's, a daily it's daily and uh you know i think uh the attorney general has certainly taken aim at uh, pharmacies and and opioid distributors uh those pharmaceutical com companies that that make and distribute these uh she's the attorney general has certainly taken aim at them and so hopefully that will help i think the rest of the country is doing the same uh, but it, it is a, it is certainly a national emergency uh, when you have whole communities that uh, are not being productive because they're addicted to opioids.